Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today I want us to take a look at something that I just saw. These flowers are from our outreach from this past Sunday. So whatever's extra, I bring them back, put them in our little area here at the ministry. And I noticed how this one, look how beautiful and open it is. It fully bloomed, even though it has a little break right there on that one uh, petal. But look how beautiful this flower is. It fully bloomed. But look at this. Look at this, my friends. Look at this. Same stem. They All three of these flowers, this one didn't even open up. Look at that one. It didn't even open up. And this one fell off. Ooh, the flower fell off the stem. It's gone. And this one just got towed up. It, it, it Half of it just beat up. And then this one tried to get going. It tried. Oh, friends. So what did the Holy Spirit quicken my heart in, in, in this illustration? Not everyone that comes to God blooms. Because it takes dedication. It takes concentration. It takes consecration to God to walk with him. You have to be serious, my friends, or you will end, end up, look at this flower. It's all sh half shriveled up. It's ugly. It, it's nothing going on. And friends, when you are filled with bitterness, unforgiveness, and you are fearful, you constantly allow anybody in your life, this is how you end up. You end up beat up like this. Look at this flower. This flower, it doesn't even, it doesn't even appear that they all came from the same stem. But they did. Beloved, you got to be serious about your walk with God. You can't let your mother, your father, your ex, your kids, you can't let no one stop you from getting in the sun. And that's the S-O-N of God. You have to take the teachings of Jesus serious. My friends, look, this one, this one, look, this, this didn't even open up. And this is why you have to be careful of people who confess religiously that they know God. But when you examine the fruit of their lives, there is no fruit. There is no petals. There is nothing emanating from their lives that prove what they say. They're just talkers. But if you follow them around with a camera, they cussing everybody out. They raging. And we not even go open up their cell phone. Oh, we, we don't know what we might find on them cell phones. See, your cell phone to tell your life. If you want to know somebody's life, my friend, open up their cell phone, get in that cell phone, and you will find all of their secret sins, all their little nasty text messages to people that's not their spouse. You go find all of their pornography. You go find it all, my friends, because let me tell you, we can hide from one another, but we cannot hide from God. You alone, my friend, you know how you're feeling on the inside, and you know how you're living in private. It's not about what we display to one another, friends. It's when you're tempted behind closed doors and you learn to just say no. But if you do not, you will end up just like this flower petal, half dead. This, this thing is dead. This is not worth nothing. It's not beautiful. It's not even cute. It's nothing to even... Look, look, friends. There is nothing cute about this. But this one over here. Now watch this as I turn the corner in this exhortation. When you look at the beauty of this flower here that blooms, it's usually going to be hated by the little ugly ducklings. See, the other little ugly ones, they're usually going to be the one to throw the rocks at the little cute one. That's right. The one that's happy, full of joy, trying to do something good for God. Yeah, these little ugly ones going to be trying to shoot their little dead petals over there. And you got to learn how to weave and bob. Bob and weave and stay out their way. That's right. That's why Jesus taught us to forgive. You have to forgive your enemies. And you have to call people for who they are and what they are. Or they're going to keep hurting you. You got to you gotta mark them that this one is a cry cry. See, call them cray-cray. That's my new word. They're cray-cray. And if you're not careful, they're going to drive you cray-cray. Get out their way, my friends. Just like Joseph. I'm going to give you that word. 
Go look it up in the scriptures. Joseph was hated by his brothers because he had blossomed. He had received a revelation from God that he was going to be a ruler over a kingdom. And he started telling his siblings and they got jealous. And they was jealous because Joseph's father gave him the coat of many colors. Joseph was loved by his father because he probably was a really nice kid. And his brothers, his siblings was just like these. See these? That's right, friends. Mark the Cains in your life. Mark the Joseph brothers in your life. And you, 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 stay, you steer clear. Yes, we pray for them. Yes, we want them to be saved. Because anyone that has breath in their body, Jesus can save them. But in the meantime, in the between time, you got to walk carefully, my friend. So God bless you, my friends. And don't be surprised if you're the only one that got some spreaded petals in your family and in your life. Real followers of Jesus come very far and few, friends. We have an epidemic of religious people that have no petals. They're just talkers. They're not walkers. And usually you can tell because all they do is sit up and talk about the latest gossip and all their reality TV shows they watch. <laughs> Friends, enough has been said. Don't be like this one. And please don't be like this one. This poor little thing fell off. We don't even know where it's at. It's an MIA, missing in action. Look, and what's interesting, if you look closely, you still see the leaf, but where's the flower? It done fell off somewhere, friends. And that's how many of us are. We're just, we're MIAs. We're missing in action. The Lord has need of you. He has need of your gifts, your talents. He wants all of it, and he wants you to offer it up to him freely. God is not looking for perfect vessels. None of us are perfect. But friends, when you avail yourself and you say, God, use me, I'm available. He will use you, my friend, and he will give you that sunlight, that water, all that is needed so you can blossom and become just as beautiful as this little cutie patootie right here. I can sit and look at the flower all day, even though it has that little cut there. And that's a great illustration how no one, no, none of us, none of us are perfect, my friend. But from, a, from, from just a, a quick glance here, this is by far one of, it, it, it's just beautiful. This is a tiger lily, by the way, for those that may not know. God bless you, my friends. Enough has been said. Be like this one here. Don't let no one stop you, my friend, from serving God and loving God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. Know that your family is not always going where you're going. You have to be willing to leave them at an arm's length or they will destroy your heart, especially if they have the green eye monster, that, that, that eye of envy. Till next time, my friends, bloom where you're planted. God bless.